It's back to the classroom on Thursday for students in Osceola County. The district started a few days after others in the area, but anticipation for what that first day will bring is just as high. How are you feeling about this first day of school tomorrow? You know, if you had asked me yesterday at noon, I was a little I was a little nervous, but yesterday I had the opportunity to attend an open house in my district and now I'm very excited. I got to connect with some parents, kids, uh, everybody was wearing their masks. Terry Castillo is a member of Osceola County's school board. The board voted back in July when COVID cases were lower to make masks optional this school year. That policy is still in place, but as surrounding districts tighten up their mask policies amid a rise in cases, Castillo says that's not out of the question in Osceola. I do think that Osceola County is a little bit different, but I am willing to have that conversation. We have a school, a school board meeting on Tuesday, and I want us to have that open debate. So far, 67% of people in Osceola County over the age of 12 have gotten the vaccine but the rate of new vaccinations has declined. Castillo told me she hopes that that last 33% of the county will take this return to the school year as a sign to get the shot. During the summer, we may, we may have been a little bit lulled because it was beautiful out and we were going out and we were having this great time, but now it's a great reminder that if you did not get your vaccine, now it's the best time to do it. Now, as Castillo said, the school board is going to have their next meeting on Tuesday. They are expected to go over how these first few days went, as well as potentially discuss any changes to the mask policy. In Osceola County, I'm Kelsey Thorit, WESH 2 News.